Well, I decided to do part two. The reason why I had to do this part two video is because there's something I forgot. On on there's I do have some of the tapes I didn't. There's some of the one. There's one speed I haven't tried, which is an LP mode VHS tape. And and not, and not when I never what and one thing I never do it at all. I never tried to the I didn't show the DVD side. Well, I did put this DVD and it still works fine. For so this so anyways. So, well, I guess the reason why I had to bring this home because, well, sadly, I won't be in the Sparks class anymore. I'll probably be in the different class next year. Even though I'll be, yeah, I'll be in a different class. I thought I'll be in the same class, but anyways. So anyways, the, the LP, here's an LP Mo VHS I want to show you, but it's kind of, it's actually a recordable tape. But it's pretty special than the, than home video, home movies, and, and, mm, then it's kind of like a homemade VHS tape, but it's actually in the early late 80s. Well, more like it's in 1990 blank tape. It's the original copy of the extremely rare PBS version of Tom Davenport from the Brothers Grimm. What I remember, I just remember that sadly Tom Davenport took down the. Ash bit, but there is not. But there is no ash bit on this. It's only these are the uh, these are the episodes. I think on the actual PBS version series, are except all but Soldier Jack. They said the last film on our series. That's what Tom Dobport said. But on, except well. For some reason, it does have the 1971 PBS logos after the fundings, except the except Bearskin and Soldier Jack, except Bearskin and Soldier Jack. But this is the one, I remember I did put a full video on YouTube a year ago. Actually, I originally uploaded a year ago. Actually, I'll put a tape in and see if it still works. It did have bad issues, a little bad issues, but let's put a tape and see what happens. Actually, I did try it first, but. I'm going to see if it still works. The, oh, it looks, it looks, it looks, oh. Oh, good. It doesn't have bad issues, all, like, like always. I hope it doesn't have any more bad issues. This one, only the, just had a little bad issues when it's starting to adjust the tracking automatically. But this one works fine. Even though, even though I usually, for some reason, mostly for sometimes, mostly like bad issues a lot. Sometimes it's Funai made, Funai pro chassis models. Hello, my name is Tom Davenport, and I'm the director of a film series from the Brothers Grimm. And I remember and this tape worked. It did also work using this many one. people think that the Brothers Grimm wrote these tales. Actually, All right, so I'm gonna fast forward and see. This this is actually the original one. This is I did not make this tape. Except the black screen at the beginning or at the end. I did except the black screen at the beginning. I had to add the black screen just like a normal VHS. Cause and originally this tape has record tiles. So it's actually recycled from a originally it was actually a used blank tape. A, you know you record t whatever you want. But anyways, it but the fast forward works. Play. Even though I did use it some, I did use that. Nowadays I did seen that before. I'm gonna rewind it. This is what it looked like in LP mode. This is an LP, and there's no hi-fi sound on it, which I do have. I I do have a one VCR that can record hi-fi that is in LP mode. It's the one over there. What I use, what I usually use up here. The daughter of a wealthy American industrial. Pa oh wait, this, they're pausing. When I, oh wait, when I pause it, the picture's really bad. 
I guess it only usually does the NLP mode. That's okay. That's okay though. A great forest. I'm not gonna do anything with that, anyways. In fact, it doesn't record. It doesn't have LP mode speed, anyway, so I don't have to. In fact, this one does not record an LPC. But oh yeah, this remote works. This this is a universal. This is all this VCR. They're both Panasonic. So here's the here's the old. Here's the one I usually. Here's the one that has speeds. I'm using that one. It works both at the same time. Oh, I wish. Hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you can look. I want to show you the weird thing. Oh. Yeah. Yep, this is this is there's this is what it looked like on two speeds. And uh this is a what two thousand four display. This is actually two thousand four uh, this is actually a two thousand five version because of the because of the because of the has a VHS sign logo. Has a video cassette sign logo. You it didn't have it on the two thousand four. This is the mid two thousands. Yep. On days when it was hot, she would stand above the well. And, and since it's a 2004 model, this one does not have the eject logo. Like, watch when I eject. No, nothing. It's nothing. See? And since it's a, since it's a 2004, just look what it says. It says no cassette. It only just says no cassette. But on 2000, on a 2000, this is actually a 2000 models. This is it says no cassette, but these are cassette. But this chassis is different than this one. This is a different ch model. This chassis is different. This is the most recent chassis. This is the most recent mechanism over there. This is not. A, this is a previous mechanism. It's not the most recent ones, but the ch this mechanism over there was from my childhood actually, because due to the due to the chat, this mechanism is from my childhood. But that wasn't the same exact one I had. Yeah. Like usually on the previous ones before before they had the most recent one, like sometimes like it kind of little skip issues. Like it kind of one skip sometimes on SOP sometimes. Well, yeah, for set for some reason for some odd reasons and a little messed up in skipping problems sometimes. I don't know, but. Except my UA, except well, mostly it did not work like UAV. Some of the UAV one would have the weird color screens. For maybe it has to do with a copy. It has to do with the quality recording. I, I want to put the ones that Shirley Duvall's bedtime stories. This tape works fine. I want to show you what Bootsy Barker looked like in Enemies version. While her parents are in Chicago, I had to do a fast forward and. Sadly, this is the only. I can't. Well, good thing I could share it on the Google Photos, but not on YouTube. I cannot share this full video to YouTube. I was gonna share that to everyone, who, everyone who never seen Shirley Duvall's Dead Time Stories, because I know this is a very unpopular, and it's copyrighted. It's big. It's actually copyrighted by Universal, actually, by its own company, actually. And it's actually universal. It is a copyright protected VHS. Yep. Yeah, it's it's owned by Universal. This is where it, it's it. This Shirley Vols bedtime story is owned by this company. So it's actually a universal VHS. It wasn't distributed or anything. It, it it's actually by its own. With closed captions. Sally, yeah, uh, does have surround sound. It does have hi-fi stereo. Yep. And this is a reprint, which is printed on the 24th week of 1999. On good news, I already did the full video on Google Photos. I put it in my other Magic School Bus. I put Butterfly, which I know it has a lot of glitch sounds, but it's nothing to do with the VCR. It has to do with the VHS tape for some reason. It has, it has to do with the copy.
Okay, it works fine. Let's see if it works. Accompanied by Ms. Grizzle, teacher of It's time to explore the unknown. What is my old cup? Each unique adventure will take you on a magical journey into the wonders of science. Take chances, get messy, make mistakes. Jump on Scholastic's The Magic School Bus. Plus, do your stuff. You never know what might happen. This is so cool. We're such a bumblebee. Yeah. We are inside. I hear a little glitch. In the storm. Shake a shake a go. With Scholastic's The Magic School Bus. Yeah, I'll stop and eject. Okay, so, and I did make a homemade VHS tape, I made it, well this is actually a Thomas and Friends VHS called Thomas Gets Tricked, it was recorded off from a 2007 DVD, which I know that was actually the first Thomas, which I know that was the, originally the first time they had a DVD release on Thomas Gets Tricked, that's when I, that's when they, after they stopped selling VHS, sadly. They never been released both at the same time, sadly. They only did. I know they did. Well, I don't think they did on Ten Years of Thomas, but this is actually. Those say this is the DVD FBI warning screen instead of the VHS warning screen, because it's a cut off of a DVD. I did. I did add an EPMO tape. I was gonna give that to someone if no one, no one had a D. Yep, it looks pretty good. The biggest and prouder. Thomas likes to tease Gordon with his whistle. I know this picture is a lot better because it was it was a very it's a high quality tape. It it records in very high quality. So Yeah, I did I did make a homemade copy. I can just splice and and get rid of the cut and like film splice and adding like removing some of these things and and replace with and swap the reels and stuff like that. Yeah, so I am a VHS making expert or VHS making homemade VHS expert. I'm a lot better than other people. How's the homemade VHS tape I made? It's called the Best of Booba, the American version. I just call it, I just made it up as called the Best of Booba. Because it's called the, B the BBS Kids Broadcast version. It's actually a volume one because it contains many U.S. full episodes marathon. Almost a three-hour full tape. Almost a three-hour. Here's the tape I add. The here's the homemade VHS I add the opening of this tape. I did, it's the same as special message for parents. It was all from a capture one, not like all from a DVD, because it was copyright protected due to copyright protection ones. I did add the first Vuba episode. This is an extent play mode tape. I did add the white screen of death at the end. I'm not. It was recorded off from a well, Blu-ray player because I edited it, and it's a better quality white screen than a VHS quality. Oh yeah, for this tape is that uh, this copy was recorded off from a uh, Hitachi. This broken VCR over there, but sadly it's broken. I first time. Yep. So yeah, I don't know what else I gotta say with this VCR demonstration video. Uh, oh yeah, I could. Good thing I have plenty of time. I want to put the VHSC table. I rem I remember this is a table. I remember I did add my homemade silly girl store, which is not. It's kind of like a deleted, which is the un unfinished, uncolored version. Oh, I did add the. Oh yeah, I remember I did record that has the. I recorded back last week. I can still record VHS tapes, including the what's on live TV. Oh, it's just the tape is damaged. 
That's what happens when I look like goof and watch VHS tapes in real life. And this one did not exist on the VHS. This is the scene that never exists on the VHS tape. But this, but this one did. But here's the scene that did have a VHS release. Mostly that was pretty common. Because of around 2001, except this is not. Well, there's the Lyle Kyle. So God likes it when we share. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's one of the. I guess you pro. It's anyone who remember watching SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, this tape works fine then. Oh, it works pretty good on this point. I remember. I remember my Orion when I used this quality Orion VCR. My own one actually. It didn't ha had a little bit bad tracking issues. This does not have any bad issues at all for some reason. I had to see if there was any some of the VHS tapes. I didn't put all other VHS tapes yet using this. Yeah, this is actually a VHS C tape. It wasn't. It was not a home, without which besides home video stuff. Uh, now this this is a home movie thing because I the reason why I can record VHS tapes from home movies. It's just from using my camcorder to hook up on a TV, but I have to mute the sound. <laughs> I did, I did that. But I'm not sure if I'll keep the copy I made, but maybe I'll just get a copy before I 